Today marks one year since an alleged drunk driver claimed the lives of three people in Orange County. CBS North Carolina's Justin Quisenberry is live in Chapel Hill with the message the family members hope to send today. Justin. Well, Russ, they want this to be a remembrance, of course, for their loved ones, but also a way to raise awareness about the dangers of drunk driving. It was just a few blocks from where I stand right now where the suspect in this case was drinking at multiple bars, according to investigators. We want to show you some pictures right now of the victims in this case. Darlene McGee, Felicia Harris, and six-year-old Jonas Beard. They died when they were hit head-on by a Jeep on I-85 near the split with I-40 in Hillsboro. McGee was heading home to Charlotte with her friend and friend's daughter after a family gathering in Virginia. Investigators say then UNC student Chandler Kenya was driving that Jeep the wrong way on the interstate and was drunk. In early court hearings, McGee's cousin had this to say about Kenya and how the family was dealing with the news. He's a murderer. We don't hold malice in our heart. We are mourning the death of a loved one. After the crash, the state investigated two bars where prosecutor say Kenya was drinking underage just prior to the crash that led to penalties from the state ABC commission. Tonight's vigil will be held here at the post office and court building on Franklin Street. And this is a frequent gathering spot for rallies and vigils of this kind here in town. Live in Chapel Hill, Justin Quisenberry, CBS North Carolina.